What's up heroes, Liz here from MagFed Heroes. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, this Friday we have something special for you guys. First of all, thank you for reaching 200 subscribers and stay tuned for more upcoming uploads in the following weeks. I'm gonna be revealing Bao's face today. Greetings heroes, it's Bao. Uh, this is the reason why we never showed our, my face before. So uh, <laughs> today we have a special product to present to you. It's on pre-order right now, it's brand new, Firestorm Grenade. We are going to show you how it works and the story behind it. Now, let's see Louis jump over fucking car because I can't. <laughs> We know it's a product designed for airsoft, but a couple of airsoft products made its way to paintball, okay? Like Enola Guy, Pyro Grenades, or even Impact Grenades. So, here they are. Firesoft Grenades, clip for your Molly Weave. So what we've done, uh, we have a commercial work that we're gonna check uh, with you guys and let us know what you think about it in the comment section down below because we've worked hard for that. So check it out, starting right now. Yep, so like I, you saw, the clip over here. With the ignition straight inside the grenade too. And this blast your ears, like for real, if you're inside, it's gonna hurt a little bit. So as you can see, it did fit in a grenade pouch, so it's not that big. Yeah, you can see inside our hands too. These things, they're small, they can fit easily inside a hand compared to other grenades, and they're very light. Uh, you can pre-order this right now, uh, but uh, you're gonna see, the links are in the description. But we have to get to how we have our hands on this very specific commercial. So first of all, uh, for a living, I do video production, and I met Paul Delille, which is an amazing guy here. He uh, is a longtime airsoft player, and he noticed that most of the grenades that the, the different brands were selling were not doing a complete job, and were and those that were amazing were staying at a very high price point. So he created, he worked hard, and he worked for a different version of this grenade to. Uh, get with this final product that you see over here with Firesoft Grenade and um, The product's amazing to be honest compared to whatever else is on the market It's the best price and you're gonna get a good bang for your buck. So it's a it's a product made by a player for players Yep in his garage at night working long hours <laughs> Even if these are 3d printed they are really sturdy so one thing you have to know is that we are brand ambassadors, but we want to be completely transparent with the product. So first of all, when Paul presented the grenades to me, um, it's not a question of money because he started small, he's still small, and uh, I accepted to help him out with video production and marketing because I was in love with the product and I think these are amazing. So this is why we me and Bao became brand ambassadors. We had a paintball channel at the time and we knew we wanted to produce content. And he was like, I have an idea for you guys and you can present maybe a little something that's gonna be available soon on, soon on paintball fields. Uh, I created Firesoft Grenade. Would you like to test it out and tell us what you think about it? And we said yes, uh, since the product is amazing and we did video production for him. Yeah, and uh, Paul here, is uh, being really really nice he did send us these for free but he said tell us when tell us tell me when you play what are the pros and cons what happens misfire if everything happens did they break or whatever he re really wants to know the best so he can produce the best product so uh, if we start with pros uh, we have a small list over here first of all it's the cheapest grenade that does both it's gonna do a big loud sound at 115 decibel. 
and it's gonna throw BBs. So when you're inside a milsim event or a, uh, a regular inside room, when you receive a BB, you know you're hit. Uh, most of the grenades are just gonna do a, a loud bang, like uh, Thunder Bees, for example. Yeah. Thunder Bees are Thunder Bees. They, uh, they make a, uh, a slightly bigger sound, about 10 or 15 decibel more, but they don't throw BBs, so in some Milsim uh, games, or MacFed only games, they will only be used as distraction as and not kill device. Yeah, so this will do both. Yeah, some uh, some grenades has trouble when it's um, when it's gas released with weather because uh, CO2 or uh, green gas like impact grenades when it's, it gets cold, it doesn't have enough force or the, sometimes the impact doesn't release the mechanism. But with this, this is so sensitive when you pull the pin. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna uh, light the matches for sure. Yep, and last step uh, This was taught for people that play inside so we have access to light stick that we just slide Inside the grenade from the bottom over here and uh, These light sticks will last four hours so you can retrieve and recover your grenade Really really quickly in dark areas and they also make it in different colors so you can get uh, the color that match with your kit and colors that are easier to see in uh, the wild if you, you're playing woods ball or whatever else you're playing. Or even when someone tries to steal one for you, uh, he has green ones and you know you're the only one the only one has red ones, so he's like, that's mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's jump inside the cons though. Uh, this grenade is not perfect, but uh, near. <laughs> uh, this thing is long to reload. Uh, we're talking about a grenade that's gonna take a few minutes to reload. Two minutes? More like a minute or two? Yeah, two yeah, minutes. Ma max, max two minutes, depending if you have your gloves on or uh, what kind of environment you are in. But yeah. uh, we do not suggest that you reload this like sitting on a bench or like in a building getting fired on and starting reloading. No, no, no. Just you go need a play, table. Just go play and take your time to reload after the game. Yeah because this year you're gonna have to pour some BBs inside the different holes we have. And uh, this one is gonna take a while to, to reload, but still it gives us the best experience possible. And uh, the other thing we don't really, really enjoy, but we have to deal with it. Uh, you cannot pull the grenade out of the clip for your molly pouches with only one hand. You're gonna have to use both hands to pull it out and both hands to clip it in there. Last thing about water. <laughs> yeah, water. So you cannot drop it in water and expect it to work. It works with a firecracker and matches. Yes, sometimes the matches. If you have like you bought waterproof matches, going to light up. But the firecracker if it has water on it. It's not going to work. But in the rain. Not a problem. All right, so uh, let's show you guys how it's gonna work. We're gonna make a little bit of these grenades blow up and we're gonna have an upcoming video. If you buy this product to reload it, we're gonna make a nice video for you guys to make sure that you're gonna be able to experience the full potential of Firesoft grenades. All right, guys, so as the Firesoft setup, you can see on, on my Moly vest, uh, you're gonna need two hands to pull it out, but it's super sturdy and it's so easy just to grab them and uh, take them out of your clip after that uh, we're gonna throw it right behind so you're gonna be able to see the explosion let's start with the first one this is the bottom plate grenade as you can see over here nothing far <laughs> All right guys, so here it is. All the BBs were ejected. Uh, this produced an internal combustion with 115 decibels. So this is how it looks after. Uh, you, as you saw, I almost didn't pull the pin. It's super gentle and you don't need to pull it hard like a fucking uh, video game. As you can see over here, it's a full one with no bottom plate. We'll see if it sounds louder or not. Fire in the hole! Well, that didn't go so well. 
This one over here will have a misfire because there's no baby underneath. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so this one was set up properly by Bell and uh, it went off. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Even if there was a misfire with the grenade, uh, I think the project is amazing for the, the price you pay. Uh, if you put your hands on one of these grenades, please tell us what you think about it and test it. Uh, yourself make a video about it also and uh, really we want to see it in action I can't wait to try to kill people with these products that Paul sent us and uh, I'll see you heroes in the next video peace